What's up, Switch Gang? This is your boy Marlon back at it again here with another live stream. Happy Friday. We have a lot of things to talk about, so sit back, relax, and enjoy what we have for you guys and girls today. We have quite a number of topics like Switch Lite, Street Date Broken. We also have the Razer switch clone tablet it's pretty much razor's new gaming tablet and uh we're going to talk about smash ultimate's dlc future and of course we have um satoru iwata god rest his soul and the smash legacy so we're going to talk about that as well and also capcom just announced a new arcade like 16 games or something like that so we're going to go over that so you guys know exactly what to do gang 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 what is good what is good what is good everybody make sure you guys smash the like button we're gonna have a very good time this stream and also we're gonna finish up story times so story time we're gonna finish up where we left off from the last stream so many of you guys know about the story times we're gonna do that um, you know at when we finish all the main stuff so for people that are brand new to um, what we're doing here. So welcome guys, happy Friday. Um, hopefully you guys like the regular streaming that I've been doing. I've been trying to stream a lot more now. Um, so that's good. And um, <clears throat> let's see, we got East, what's up? Let's say what's up to everybody in the meantime before we get a full crowd of people coming in here. All right. <clears throat> So we got, uh, let's see, we got East, what's up, man, how you doing? We got Boo, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We got uh, Matrix, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We got Boo, how you doing? Once again, I'm doing great, man. Uh, street Date, yes, we're going to clarify that as well. Um, I got to hold a switch light today at work. I cried when I had to give it back. Oh, wow. Okay, East. Okay. Uh, hey, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that, man. I feel that. <laughs> um, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Make sure you guys share the stream. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started here. And before we get started, I just want to give everybody a chance to get in the stream so that we don't have to go over everything that we just talked about, you know? Because once I start going over the topics, people are going to come in and be like, hey, Marlon, I didn't get to, you know. So um, I want to wait until everybody gets in here. Uh, if you're just coming in here, uh, welcome to the stream and say what's up. It's what's up time and see how everybody doing. And then we'll jump off into the topics that we have for you guys and girls today. All right. Um, True Green, what's good, man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, bro. Thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, wait, uh, <laughs> I had to adjust my chair a little bit. All right, so we're good to go. I had to adjust. Uh, make sure y'all smash that like button. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Give the stream a like, guys. It does help out. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to go ahead and get started. Yo, Chad, what's up, man? How you doing? What? Nah, not Chad. CBD. I thought that was Chad. I was like, wait, what's up, Chad? <laughs> All right, uh, so what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Giving everybody a chance to get in the stream. Um, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and share the stream as well. Give me a second here so we know everybody knows what's going on. And then we can go ahead and jump right off into our topics that we have. All righty. All right. All right. So let me go ahead and share our stream. Let's put it on Twitter. Let the rest of the Joy-Con family know that we are live. Come join me live. Switch. I mean, um, come join me live. I'm sorry. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to dive off into the topics that we have Let's do it, man. It's Friday. Y'all should be excited, man. Y'all should be excited. Y'all should be excited today. Um, all right. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. All right. There we go. What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? Crow, how you doing? Roy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. 
Thank you guys so much for joining. Really appreciate the support. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Remember, if you have anything to say what's up, say what's up now. Because <laughs> once we start getting flooded with people, I'm telling you, get all your stuff in right now before we start off everything. Um, Friday the 13th. Yup, Friday the 13th. And it was 9-11, what, two days ago? So, yeah, there you go. Um, all right, all right, all right. We got 22 people still waiting. We normally hit like around 60, you know, 70. So we, we're giving people a little chance to get in here and then we're going to start off the show. Um, Nep Power, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it. Um, Yoshi, what's up, man? How you doing? Thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate it. Um, I think I think I'm happy with the format that we've been going with, guys. Um, I'm also happy at the fact that we our internet is a lot better now, so we can stream at a higher um, stream quality as well. Uh, Alex, what is up, man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, Alex. Um, let's see here. Oh, somebody just followed us on Twitter. Who is this? Oh, appreciate the follow. Somebody followed us on Twitter a while ago. Uh, Eric, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. All right, all right. I was, I'm trying to give everybody a chance to get in here. I'm trying to give everybody... Let me put this on Facebook as well so people know that we're live on Facebook. Um, I don't know what's going on with notifications today. Um, let me say, hey, guys... All right. I'll let the Facebook people know. All right, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Now, all right, let's see, let's see. Retro, let's, YouTube didn't notify me you were live. That's what I'm saying, like, I don't know. It's normally a delay um, with notifications going out sometimes you go live and it takes like 30 minutes sometimes 40 minutes for people to be notified that you're live and then, then that's when they come in <sighs> youtube hope they get their act together uh the hype is real for the game awards yes the hype is definitely real for the game awards i uh, finally got finally got the internet problems taken care of yes um, I was told the moment you were alive. Okay, that's good. That's good. For some people, they get notifications late. Some people get notifications right away. Um, we finally shot our commercial for the card game. Oh, Alex, what's up, man? I didn't even realize it was you. What's up, Alex? Holy cow. Yeah, you're going to have to send me that that um, that that shot for the, uh, for, for the game. Send me that commercial. Um... Yeah, let me let me see a teaser of that commercial, man. I didn't realize it was you, Alex. <laughs> um, Marlon, what what is up, man? Having a good day, man. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I can't complain, man. I can't complain at all, you know. Um, all right. So I don't know where everybody is. So we're gonna go ahead and and dive off into um, the first topic that we have. So the first topic is street street date broken for the switch light. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me over the music. Um, let me see something. Let me turn this down just a tad bit before we get started. All right, there we go. All right, so street date broken for the switch light. And it looks like what we're like literally like what a week away from release. And so Walmart right now if you guys can go to any Walmart at all and see if you can find the switch lights, I'll definitely show you guys a screen grab of it right now. So, I mean, you can, someone was able to go step inside of a Walmart. So Walmart's breaking street dates, man. It's, it's just crazy. And I think Walmart, they don't really care, 
but um, if you really want to get a switch light, and I think when you scan it on the register, that um, you know that it will it will just like the, you know not allow you to do it because I used to do retail like years ago, and if something is street dated for a certain time, it's gonna tell you up oh, nope can't sell it until that time. But look at this, they have all the colors in stock, all the colors in stock. They got the gray, the blue, and the yellow right there. I don't even see the price, but come on, man. The, get, the system is not coming out for a week, you know, and Walmart's just like, hey, man, look, we're putting the switch lights out there quickly, and we're going to start selling them. And um, I'm like, yeah, because a lot of people, they can't say that oh, it's not available right now, or oh, you can't buy the Switch Lite. Look, man, it's right there. So if I go in the store and I'm just like, hey, look, um, I want the Switch Lite. They can't tell me, no, I can't get it. You know, like, no, 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 you can't get it. Um, but yeah, man, it's available. Check your Walmart, your local Walmart, and see if they have a Switch Lite. If they do, and you bring it to the register or they you know how walmart is you walk into the the entertainment section and you're like hey do you have the keys um so you can open up this game cabinet you could go in there they open it up and voila there you go they might sell it to you so i mean they're, they're breaking street dates uh what's up ant-man how you doing i work at walmart and it blocked it oh really really so wait so east do they have them on the shelf like do they have them on the shelf at your walmart or like what's going on with that um yo marlon just got through a breakup oh man i'm so sorry to hear that bro i'm so sorry stay strong man stay strong and whatever you do don't fold man just stay strong i know it's hard i know it's a tough time in your life right now but you have to promise yourself to stay strong at all costs. I know it hurts. Break breakups are not easy, man. They're not easy at all. They they are tough cookie, tough business. Um, G two bills. What's good, man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. To story time galore. This stream. So I'm gonna just tell you, it's Friday. It's chill time. So you guys know if you want stories and stuff, just drop a donation. You know, you could do super chat or you could do regular donations like through Streamlabs if you want story time today. That's something new that we started up on the channel. And it's been doing very well the past two streams now. So really appreciate you guys for that. Not surprised, Spawn Wave bought a joystick for a switch light. Okay. What's good, Future X Games? How you doing? I know some of you guys got the notification late. No, it's in the back. Oh. So the switch light, so you're saying that the switch light is in the back hmm well i haven't checked my walmart yet but um i mean they have it right there on the shelf bro like you can go in there and be like hey i want that right there and i mean you won't be able to get in trouble at all um if you say you want it because it's on the shelf so i mean hey it's walmart's problem whoever that that person in the back is that stacks the games and accessories and what have you out there um, that's their responsibility to make sure that they honor the street dates. And what's going to happen is they might be getting in trouble. This particular Walmart or Walmarts around America that is selling the, the, the Switch Lite early can get in trouble from Nintendo because we know Nintendo does not play when it comes to street dates and whatnot. So if you're messing around with Nintendo stuff, just like Smash, Smash got leaked right like way before it came out and the story came out about people were saying oh yeah it dropped off of a truck and then people start loading the roms out you know on on the internet and the game got leaked out and it got almost got spoiled for a lot of people but i mean this is a handheld so i mean th what? there's nothing like i can't believe really this. crazy oh about this God. little sn snip uh thank you so much for subscribing to the channel be sure to turn on that notification bell to where you never miss a video or live stream welcome to the movement so i mean the fact that they're actually doing this right now walmart might not get anything else from nintendo because nintendo is very overprotective of 
their intellectual property, their games, their consoles and whatnot. So check your local um, your local Walmart and see if there's a switch light there. All right. So we're going to move along here, guys. We got some stuff to talk about today. Um, so Capcom Home Arcade is basically coming with 16 arcade games. So that's really cool. So they have 19, uh, 1944, The Loop Master, Alien vs. Predator, uh, what's this, uh, Armored Warriors, Capcom Sports Club, Capcom Commando, Cyberbots, Full Metal uh, Madness, um, Dark Stalkers, The Night Warriors, Echo Fighters, Final Fight, Ghouls and Ghosts, um, Giga Wing, um, Mega Man, The Power Battle, Pro, what's that? Pro Gear, Street Fighter 2, Hype Fighting, and Strider. Uh, and then we have Super Puzzle Fighter uh, 2 Turbo. So that's pretty cool. Um, of course, the price on this one is going to be 199 pounds. So it's going to be 199 pounds. Uh, I don't know what that translates out into US dollars. And the home arcade, it comes out on October 25th. So I don't know if you guys are going to actually pick that up. But 16 arcade games for basically 199 pounds. I don't know how much that will translate out into US. You guys can get busy on that one and, and let me know what you guys think about this. Ah, Future X Gaming says, I was wondering what shopping apps or online do you order games um well i i do sometimes i do amazon um and what else what else do i do and then there's this other like wholesale website that i normally go to for like get games like really cheap uh but other than that that's really about it I mean, they have like a couple apps here and there that you can kind of download and kind of use and then you can kind of get from there. Uh, but it just matters on how you want to kind of scale everything and kind of go from there. Um, what's up, man, Jack? How you doing? Nensen, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Brian Kelly, what is good? Welcome to the stream. They need Watch Dogs 2 on Switch. I will be happy. Man, hey, we need something. We need something. Now, let's move on to the next segment here. Um, so Razer, you guys know Razer, right? They make gaming laptops, mouse, keyboards, headsets, and what have you. And so I think in 2013, they came out with the Razer Edge Pro. It's pretty much like a PlayStation Move kind of analog, like handles or whatnot. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. But apparently this is like a switch clone i don't know if you guys see it in the thumbnail um let me see here let me see if i can save it they basically filed a patent and this is what it looks like i believe it's coming out or they might reveal it at ces 2019 so yeah look at this right here and let me know if this don't kind of resemble the nintendo switch um they're not saying that it's a switch killer right now but i mean Razer, I mean, it's probably going to play a lot of um, PC stuff, of course. So, I mean, this is kind of like a portable PC, if you may. Um, but, yeah, they let me see when they filed a patent on this. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. The Singapore-based firm filed a patent for a gaming controller for mobile devices and the method of operating a game controller on the 5th of March this year the same patent was filed for in America on August 1st 2019 in the world intellectual property office and details of a gaming system with a tablet like form factor alongside with a large screen there are two tin uh, I'm sorry two thin controllers um, which attach magnetically to the sides Wow so it's magnetically you know like with the switch um, let me see what some of you guys are saying. So, you know, like with the switch, you can kind of detach the controller and kind of slide it on. So those are going to be apparently they're going to be like, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's going to be like magnetic. So you can like basically like this. That's what they're saying. So, I mean, I would say like CES 2019 is probably when they're going to show it off. But I mean, 
they can't compete with Nintendo. Honestly, they can't compete with Nintendo. And here's why I say they can't compete with Nintendo because, come on now, Nintendo have the best first party games out of any company, you know? So I don't see how this is gonna be a Switch killer. Even though they're not advertising it as a Switch killer, it's definitely a Switch clone because it does resemble the Switch a lot. Even at the top, the top buttons at the top, uh, you can see, you know, the, the bumpers and then the triggers at the bottom. So you can kind of see that there. Um, let's see what some of you guys have to say about the Razer gaming handheld that is uh, patented right now. Um, who do you want as DLC? We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Uh, yo, Marlon, what's up? Super Mario Bros. How you doing, man? My manager locked it up and dared anyone to pull it out. I was just lucky enough to hold it. Oh, East, I feel you on that, man. I feel you on that. Uh, Walmart better watch out next time because um, next next time Nintendo won't send them anything anymore. Exactly, exactly. You break street dates, there's a consequence for it. Um, look like a bigger version of the Switch. Yeah, like I've been saying. Um, I usually buy my my games on Best Buy, but because I'm getting all the Switch digital, I use Best Buy credit card to buy the Nintendo eShop cards and get the games like that. Okay, thus that count count as off as a rip. Are you gonna dust it off as a rip off? Oh, well, everybody's trying to compete in the handheld market right now. And Razer, I mean, they make very good PC stuff like headphones keyboards, mouses, you know, um, laptops, you name it, you know what I mean? So, I mean, they got the money to do it and the resources to do it. The thing is, is like, what is going to be exclusive to this? Like, are you going to be able to stream? Cause I don't see anywhere. I think it's going to be all digital. Like you, you'll be able to just do it all digital or whatnot. I don't think there's going to be like a cartridge or something like that. Like the Nintendo switch, then it'll definitely be a Nintendo switch clone. So, um, that's that's that so let's go ahead and remove that out the way what's up what's up Joker how you doing man welcome to the stream all right so let's move along here I believe I want to talk about Sakurai and um, there's a lot of things to say about Sakurai right now because no Goku and no Iron Man and I believe this shouldn't be a surprise I made a video earlier today talking about this this shouldn't be a surprise to a lot of people, right? Sakurai came out and he said that if it's not a video game character, it won't be represented in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And I thought to myself like, okay, Sakurai, I understand that. But a lot of people has been bugging Sakurai and asking him, why did he put Terry in the game? And me personally, I'm not going to question Sakurai when this man sit here and develop Smash Ultimate with bad health. You know what I mean? Being hooked up to an IV, um, don't take no breaks at all. And people wanna sit here and be ungrateful to this man. So people are bugging him about why did he put Terry in the game? Why didn't he put Goku in the game? Why he didn't he put, you know, uh, somebody else other than Terry in the game? And I'm like, bro, like, that's besides the point. The point of the matter is, is that he puts his hard work, blood, sweat, and tears and takes time away from his family. People don't understand as a content creator, as a game developer, you're taking time away from your family. And that's important time that you could be spending with them. But no, you decide that, yo, I'm going to give it to these oh, people. Oh, no way. Oh, oh, my Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shadow Demon. You're the first donator for today. Thank you so much for the $2. I preferred Ayachi for Smash. Goku is not invited. Most definitely. He has no place in Smash at all. And I'm happy with that because a lot of people are saying Hero is pretty much Goku. I mean, Hero is like on a whole nother level of... of power and craziness you know but my whole thing is this people need to stop harassing sakurai now listen to this this one is kind of heart touching because Sato satoru iwata's last wish his last mission 
was for Smash Ultimate to be a success, was for Smash Ultimate to be a thing. And now that it's a thing, he made... Sakurai made a promise to Iwata before he passed that he was going to continue on with Smash and make it a thing, make it a huge thing. And so I want people to really sit down and understand this. Iwata is no longer with us. But his dream and his vision will live on forever. And Sakurai said that he wants to continue with Smash. And here's the thing. Here's why I think the next DLC Fighter Pass 2 that we're going to get is going to be huge. It's going to be huge because Sakurai stated during the, the Tokyo Game Show that he wants to continue forever with Smash. Like he wants to continue on with dlc so guys we're we're probably gonna get more than just two fighter passes we might get three or four or five because one it is printing nintendo money two why stop why stop and three it's 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 carrying on iowata's legacy so a lot of people don't understand that so being that Smash is pretty much the best crossover game right now. I mean, it is pretty much the best fighting crossover game on the planet. Like, hands down. There's no other game right now that is taking third-party characters and bringing it into a whole nother universe, which is the Nintendo universe. You know what I mean? You got Terry Bogard from King of Fighters and SNK fighting Mario and fighting Luigi and fighting all these Nintendo Princess Peach and all these characters. That is amazing. That's what a lot of people want to see. So how dare people be ungrateful? How dare people be selfish? That's just my whole thing. And so if Sakurai is saying that he's going to continue with Smash's legacy, and he also state that the next Smash game is not going to have that much characters. And that's okay. It's not going to have that much characters and it's not going to have all the modes and the music and everything. And that's fine. I mean, if this was the only Smash game that we have that we have gotten and this is it, I'll be happy. I'll be happy. Like literally if Nintendo comes out with another system, I'll be happy with it. I'm not going to sit here and be ungrateful and be like, no, Sakurai, no, 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 no. What's up, Grant? I'm not going to sit here and be ungrateful. No, I'm going to be thankful and be like, hey, look, hey, Smash Ultimate was the best version of Smash, hands down, better than Brawl. I don't care what nobody want to say. Oh, Brawl had the best story, whatever. But Smash Ultimate outdone, has outdone every single Smash game with presentation dlc fighters stages music so this man put his hard work blood sweat and tears into smash and i feel like honestly this whole goku situation is ridiculous because he he been said that he been said that he's not going to put any anime characters any non-video game characters in the game so for people to sit there and harass sakurai after he went on ahead and say hey no not gonna happen it's just ridiculous and then people are harassing him on twitter like it's it's ridiculous um mathis what's up man how you doing welcome to the stream so we're hearing and this is what i'm hearing now okay um and you guys know i have my sources and everything that I get information from. So I'm hearing, this is what I'm hearing. I'm not going to say no names, but you guys know I have contacts. I'm hearing that Ryu Hayabusa, the face of Ninja Gaiden, the, the ninja, oh my lord, the ninja with the katana blade is going to be the fifth and final DLC fighter. For pass one, fighter pass one, and at the VGAs, at the VGAs is going to be when they're going to reveal him, which makes a lot of sense because Ryu Hayabusa, come on guys, come on. I, I can see that happening. You know, it, it's one thing people sitting here talking about Waluigi and all of this, and I'm like, bro, no, Waluigi no he's already represented in the game the Ryu Hayabusa is nowhere in the game at all so if my sources are telling me the truth if I'm hearing the right things 
then Ryu Hayabusa is most definitely going to be in the game. Um, a lot of people want Ryu Hayabusa. And I want Ryu Hayabusa, but I also want Crash. I also want Rayman. <laughs> yes, Rayman. I also want Sora. I also want Gino as well. So there's a lot of different characters that I would like to see in the game that, that will come into the game. What's up, Joe Camp? How you doing? So um, I literally grew up playing Ninja Gaiden. Now, granted, once Ryu Hayabusa gets revealed, a lot of people, how you doing, Egglet, the gamer? Welcome to the stream, sir. Thank you so much. Regardless of if uh, Ryu Hayabusa gets in the game or not, a lot of people are going to be salty because it's not Waluigi or it's not Gino or it's not Sora. People are going to complain. But at the end of the day, I'll be happy because I grew up playing Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden is one of my favorite all-time games next to all the other games that I love from uh, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. So there's evidence that's pointing towards Ryu Hayabusa making it into Smash. And I think it would, I think it would only be right. I think it would be only be right. I think his final smash would just be amazing. Like honestly, like he's gonna do like the the he's gonna give you the the master ninja move. Like he's just gonna jump and just cut you up in pieces. Like I, I don't know how how it's gonna work. Of course, you're not gonna be in pieces, but you're gonna see like flashes and trust me, guys. I can see Ryu Hayabusa in there. So if my sources are telling me the right thing. Expect Ryu Hayabusa to be the fifth and final um, character for Fighter Pass 1. Now, here's the thing. From what I'm hearing, here's this. From what I'm hearing, because I'm being dragged into different subreddits. I'm being, because of the popular size of the channel now, and because a lot of people know that I cover Smash, and so people from uh, Sabby's camp, uh, people from Papa Gino's camp, uh, a lot of people are reaching out and also I have people that I know that's in the industry. So I'm telling you guys, most of this stuff is not some little 4chan stuff. This is actually real, like people talking about this stuff happening. Um, Crash is going to be one of them too as well. From what I'm hearing, they're saying that Crash could potentially be in the game. And it's funny because... Remember, remember, and this is how I know my sources is true. This was, I don't, I'm going to kind of jog y'all memories a little bit, okay? Listen to me very carefully. This was before Smash Ultimate came out, right? Um, I made a video and I said, an employee of Nintendo, I didn't, I didn't say any names. I didn't say any names. I said an employee at Nintendo leaked smash ultimate leak smash 5 it was labeled as smash 5 at the time before we found out that it was actually smash ultimate right and when i put that video out the video got like twenty five thousand views or no maybe thirty thousand views something like that right and people was like ah oh, nah they're not gonna make no smash for switch nah he's just lying nah he's just doing this for views and boom literally the next day or the next two days it was it, it happened so and that was coming from a, a nintendo employee right i don't even know if he still got his job but that's coming from a nintendo nintendo employee and that's what i heard so like i said guys some of the leaks some of the things that i hear is that's just what it is you know so um i'm still taking it with a grain of salt at the same time because some of this stuff could be wrong but at the same time we we have to kind of be patient but i will say this it makes logical sense for the fifth and final dlc fighter to be revealed at the vgas it will just make perfect sense i'm just saying why not joker got revealed at the VGAs last year, so why can't um, the fifth and final character be revealed at the VGAs? I mean, Terry is going to be um, released, I think, in November, so they're probably going to have a Smash Direct, or they might uh, reveal like the gameplay and release date for Terry in November, and then gear up for December with a big surprise. And Reggie Fils of May, of course, 
he's gonna be there the reginator he's gonna be there so it's just a lot of hype that's surrounding uh the vgas this year and i know nintendo is going to come heavy at the vgas because we still need to see what's up with bayonetta we still need to see um stuff about some new games that we've been hearing that's in the pipeline um there's a lot of stuff that's cooking up a lot of stuff that's cooking up so i think being that the fifth anniversary of the game awards is coming up um in december it's fitting for them to just drop the reveal there so that's what i'm saying from that from that altitude um raw expressions what is good bro thank you so much for joining us really appreciate that um let's see here let's see ghostman how you doing man um joy con boys what is good what is good uh, Marlon, do you know a guy who has sources? I'm Shifty. A YouTuber said his sources say Ryu Hayabusa is in the Fighter Pass. Yes, I am Shifty. I heard about I am Shifty. Um, he is he is not so credible like Virgin or like um, Emily Rogers or like who else? Who else? Uh, King Zell. He's not he's not on that level. But some of the stuff that he's mentioned before in the past, I uh, was right somewhat. So, yeah, I heard about him. I think he's following me on Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. But I know who you're talking about. But like I said, you're hearing it from another person with sources uh, saying the same thing about Ryu Hayabusa. And come on now. What is the origin of Ryu Hayabusa? Japan, right? It's a Japanese um, stealth you know game or whatnot and Ryu Hayabusa I think he's in what dead or alive if I'm not mistaken I think he's in dead or alive so he's in a fighting game you know so and Master Chief was in one of them dead or alive's games so I don't know I don't know Master Chief might make it in Master Chief might just make it in because um Nintendo and and and, and Microsoft have a very good relationship so I do think it it can happen you know um all right let's see here let's see when there's smoke there's fire there you go there you go uh chris what's up man how you doing welcome to the stream uh the homie raw is in the building derek cheese uh, uh I, meant, <laughs> I butcher your name dick cheese says what's up how you doing um ghostman says marlon do you think you might tell um i don't know i might i might tweet at him and see what's up yeah, I might tweet at him and see what's up. Cause most of the everybody that covers Smash kind of keep in touch with each other and stuff like that in Discord, private Discords, uh, private di uh, Reddit threads and things like that. So you know, information gets out. Everybody's getting tagged. I'm getting tagged. Game Explain gets tagged. Papa Genos gets tagged. Um, who else gets tagged? Lax Chris gets tagged. So a lot of us gets tagged with information first. And then people start tagging me on Twitter like, yo, Marlon, jump on this real quick. And if so, if I'm home and everything, I can jump on it right away and boom, I can put the news out there. That's how I'll be finding out about a lot of things before a lot of other YouTubers. So, and it's not just necessarily um, Smash. It could be a Nintendo game that's coming out and somebody just told me, hey, look, so-and-so, this and this is coming out, you know, um, don't don't mention my name you know hey just just put the information out there um so i do that to cover myself and i do that to cover them and i try to inform you guys so we could be one of the first set of peoples to know about such thing you know because nintendo they're very strict when it comes to their intellectual property and i don't want anybody to lose their jobs or get in any kind of trouble you know what I mean? When it comes to leaking out information regarding a DLC fighter or it could be a game or a system Nintendo is working on and so on and so forth. So that's that's one of the main things right there. Um, e says, do you think we'll ever have a, a, a gamers pass later on? Could you make a video on what Nintendo games could be in a gamers pass? I can kind of see a gamers pass happening um because right now nintendo just have the virtual console experience right now right so i can kind of see a gamers pass where it have like 
all the latest Nintendo Switch and upcoming games in that Gamer Pass, right? And then people can just kind of dive right off into it, like as far as like they can put like a subscription on it, just like what they're doing with Xbox Live. And it can be a Nintendo Nintendo Switch Online Game Pass or Nintendo Switch Pass or some online pass or something like that. And it will have like Switch games. It can have, you know, some retro stuff like Wii U stuff, Wii stuff. You know, I mean, mixed in there and people will buy it. I think people will jump on it. So that is not even the problem. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Um, Me World says something, Marlon. I saw the title. Is the Switch Lite Street broken? Yes. Yes. We covered that earlier. Um, Walmart. So go to your local Walmart. Walmart have it in stock right now. I don't know if um they're allowed to sell it because once you scan it in the computer the computer might um not allow you to but i don't know if a manager's override can actually override it and actually sell it to you just the same but i mean it could it could happen you know it could happen um but uh yeah the, the street date is broken by walmart and you know walmart right now they don't even really care man they're selling their games 10 bucks cheaper than the competition like on brand new stuff you know and then GameStop with the whole I made a video talking about GameStop closing and people thought that I was joking like they're closing almost half of their stores right now I'm hearing stuff trickling around sitting there trying to remodel some stuff I mean even where when I was in Texas there was um, a GameStop that I used to go to this was like years ago me and my brother used to go there for midnight releases and everything and it wasn't doing so well. They closed the store down. Then they turned it into a used game store, like a used GameStop game store. And then they were just selling just strictly used games, strictly used stuff. And then that wasn't doing well. And then they shut it down. So I was like, dang, like that's crazy. So there you go, guys. That's what I'm trying to tell people. Like, this is what it this is what it is, you know? Um Trust me, like it, it, the industry is changing up a lot. It's not like it used to be. Um, okay, Marlon, did you know a new Smash Online game mode got data mined called Convention Mode? It's a 3v3 beat em up um, mode fitting. Uh, know that Terry Bogard is from a 3v3 fighting game. Yeah, see, there you go. So, this is, I, and I foresaw this happening is that. Every time we get certain characters in the game, this opens up the possibility of new modes happening because of a character being a certain way or a character came from a certain game or a certain genre. So I can kind of see how certain modes. I'm telling you, when Sakurai is done with Smash Ultimate, it's going to be the, 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 the best fighting game ever. Like the ultimate fighting crossover game ever. There's going to be no other game that's going to top the level of polish and everything. You know, like I, I just, but I can kind of see something like that happening. Um, okay, my Twitter is going off. What is this? Uh, okay. Because my, my, I'm always, they're, I'm, they're always sending me stuff. Like literally. Um... Walmart needs to just buy GameStop and implement it in the stores. Honestly, because they're struggling, bro. I mean, GameStop is struggling right now. Like, real talk. They are struggling to keep the lights on. And they laid off, come to think of it, GameStop laid off, I think, over 100 and something employees. So they laid off a lot of people. You know what I mean? Um, so it's, it's just a lot of stuff going on, guys, that people need to wake up on, understand that the industry is changing. Um, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, how you how you say your name? Hugh? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Um, AKA Capcom versus SNK2. Great game. Oh, yeah, bro. Great game. It's an amazing game, man. I mean, I grew up playing. I grew up playing um, King of Fighters. Um... Let's see here. Marlon, my latest video was a meme about Smash Bros. Cross, <laughs> uh, cross Domino Pizza. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, man, so guys, it's just a lot of things going on, man. The industry is, is changing, like literally, like there's so much stuff going on right now and we're gearing up for next gen and 
I don't know. You know, I really want to touch up on this because people are angry at Capcom for the new Resident Evil game. Like, I don't know what you guys' thoughts on it. I haven't see, even seen the gameplay on it. But, um, yeah, it it don't really look as good as I thought it was going to be, honestly. Like, it didn't really look good to me. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, you know, things are not going to go in the way that you expect it to go. It's going to go the way that they want it to go. Um, Kells was disrespecting SNK. Um, Miko Long, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Um, let's see here. Remember, guys, to tag me at Marlin Gaming Nation, and then we'll we'll go from there. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Let's see. Go ahead and flood me with some comments if you have any. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, there is a KFC dating sim. Really? Never heard of that. Um, hey, Marlon, do you want Sakurai uh, to become Nintendo president? Pres I mean, uh, the Nintendo president. I, I think Sakurai will be amazing uh, to be a Nintendo president in my book. Yeah, most definitely, because he understands what the fans want. You know what I mean? What the gamers want, what Nintendo fans want. So I think he will be the perfect prime candidate, but I don't think that will happen. I mean, who knows? Who knows? But I think he'll be perfect for it. Um, how do you think Ryu Hayabusa is going to play? Like, do you think he will play like the original games or the newer games? I think what Sakurai is going to do is mix original with new and combine it together. That's what I think is going to happen like modern and classic together um crow uh crow says um marlon what do you think about sans me costume in smash i think it's amazing a lot of people wanted sans to be in smash and the fact that he's a rep you know for a me costume I'm, I'm happy i'm happy with it um g2g bill says if gamestop will s sell used games at 20 percent off from the retail I'm sure they would they will do better back in the day Best Buy's selling new games with 20% off with the gamers club exactly exactly which was a huge value by the way and I think that's what made GameStop kind of up their um their their game as far as their membership goes but their membership is like not even so great to be honest with you like their membership is just like average it's not even worth anything um joe says you feeling better since the other day i know you were not feeling good yeah 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 feeling so much better my immune system is really good like my immune system is is a1 to be honest with you guys um do you think ryu will have his classic costume yeah you know i'm gonna make a video talking about this i don't want to spoil it but I think Smash will be excellent when it comes to the whole costume customization thing, but I'm going to save that for another um, topic and whatnot. Uh, Yoshi the Killer says, story time. Story time, boys. You guys know what to do. Drop a donation. And remember, you can do stream um, um, stream labs in the, in the description. If you click the description, or you can do super chat. Remember, the bigger the donation the the longer the story is um so yeah stream stream um some more streams are coming up and it's gonna be amazing because i'm gonna change up a lot of different things we're working on some things behind the scenes as well so yeah story time boys story time <laughs> um oh sam 64 okay 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 all right uh, sam 64 okay um, okay, should Terry as a girl be alt or normal all time? I think, I think, yeah, I think that could work, but I don't think that's going to happen for Smash. I mean, it could. I could kind of see that. Um, GameStop doesn't even um, have but two used games 
and the third one free um and then gamestop membership doesn't offer a lot of value exactly the gamers club membership offered a lot of value like from from best buy 20 percent off and i think you got some other perks i think i still have mines i think mines is going to be running out real soon so yeah oh, i mean no way oh, oh my <laughs> lord thank you thank you thank you thank you so much yoshi the killer with the one dollar donation to start off story times shadow demon is still the top donator for today with the two dollar donation so thank you so much yoshi let's start off with story time you guys love story time so let's dig into it all right so i think we talked about the kevin stuff the last time right um so we're gonna talk about a situation um this was a long time ago a long time ago i think i was 18 or 17 uh this wasn't my first job but i was working a cell phone i was working at a cell phone store um with one of my best friends right and so we were i think we were working for a very long time a very long time we were working for and being that you donated a dollar yoshi we're going to keep it short remember the bigger the donations the more we the more longer the story is so anyways um <laughs> so we were working at this store right we we're pretty much there all day and so we got hungry and so the crazy yeah his name uh my best friend's name was Kev kevon not kevin but kevon his name was kevon and um he was like yo why don't you just go downstairs and grab us some cooked food you know back then we call it like cooked food because it was hot it was ready to go and everything so um i was like yeah sure and i was like what you want he was like i want chicken i want rice and i want some vegetables and everything i said you know what i'm gonna get the same thing so anyways something happened to where um i end up getting the food right i end up getting the food i'm running up the stairs <laughs> i'm running up the stairs right because it was raining like it started to rain so i'm running up the stairs with the two bag of food that i got upstairs i was like yo bro i got the food i got the food and um so i hand him his food right and then I started to open up my food and then I started to eat my food and then um he was like yo like um I'm still a little hungry he ate off all his food right so he was like bro I'm still hungry like could I have some of your food so I'm handing him the box now right and in the process of me handing him the box like we our fingernails touch each other and then I let go of the box with the food and the food tip over tell me why I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. So if you guys want me to continue, you guys donate some more on that. All right. Let's see what we missed out on the on the main chat here. Um, um, what is your favorite word font? Favorite word font is the Yoshi uh, font. Um. <laughs> got the update to the spirits oh got to update the spirits so far okay um hey marlon many character in your wish how many characters you have in your wish list um i have probably about maybe five or six uh just called my local walmart store dude said they don't have them and will have them in stock next friday better check via phone than drive eight miles for nothing yeah don't waste your gas I'll tell you that right now don't waste your gas um it's not worth it <laughs> yeah no that his name is kevon not kevin kevon yeah his name is kevon so key uh k-e-v-o-n that's his name and the other guy's name is spelled kevin yeah so um yeah so i'll finish up i'll finish up um the rest of that story once um once we get some more donations on that um but yeah that that was a funny story because oh god i can't wait to tell y'all more um let's see here but yeah yeah i mean if if you're if your walmart is less than a mile away then i would say it's worth for you to go out there and kind of check to kind of see what's going on um but i guess some people got lucky their walmart actually have the switch lights in stock so yeah um 
Okay. Uh, Kevin and Kevon, the sitcom. <laughs> Funny stuff, bro. Funny stuff. Um, <clears throat> Sans. Okay. Yeah, bro. It's it's funny. Funny stuff, bro. Funny stuff. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Did I miss anybody's comment? Do you think we might get Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3 on the NES app? I don't think I don't know if we're going to get more NES games to be honest. I don't know. I mean, I I guess cuz now it's now it's whenever Nintendo feels like it. You know what I mean? Like it, now it's like whenever they feel like giving us something, they're going to give it to us. So um all right all right you guys have anything else for me drop it in the comment section uh let's see here <clears throat> all right gary for smash i i'm a pokemon fan okay we get in five fighter passes for Smash Ultimate. Five, Lord, you're gonna you're gonna work Sakurai to death. Five, I don't know, man. I don't know if we're gonna get five. Honestly, I don't. I don't know. Um, is there a game that puts you to sleep? For me, it's Demon X Machina and Fire Emblem Fates. I mean, Demon X Machina looks okay to me. Um, there's a lot of um things going on with the game like if you upload gameplay on youtube they're issuing out copyright strikes and claims in my last stream i kind of talked about that um how excited are you for mario and sonic and sanic <laughs> at the olympic games i'm not i'm not too excited it's not a game that i'm actually looking forward to so i'm not extremely excited or anything like that um i'll like mortal kombat or street fighter on the uh super nintendo app oh okay yeah bro i mean there's so much nes games that they can add so much super nintendo stuff they can add um sorry to fans but demonix machina is tra <laughs> yo i remember there was a lot of hype around that game when they first showed it off and then you know one of the worst things you can do as a developer is try to hinder people from playing your games you know because it's free advertisement and i don't understand why companies do that like why is y'all doing that stuff like it's stupid um kate from gears of war for smash ultimate fighter pass 2 i don't even know about that i don't even know if that's gonna ever happen a gears character i don't know that would be interesting though um okay Anything else, guys? Drop it on me. It's Friday. Let's go. Um, you guys know our cutoff time, so we're still good to go. If you guys have anything to add, drop it on your boy. Um, okay, let's see here. Let's see if I miss any comments. Did I miss anybody's comment? Did I miss anything? No, I didn't miss anybody's comment, so we're good um anything else guys anything else let me see if i cover it i think i covered pretty much everything let me see something here um okay yeah oh wow somebody actually bought somebody tweeted at obi-wan plays Somebody actually got the switch light already on the 10th, like three days ago. Holy cow. Do y'all see this? Wait, hold up. I got to show y'all this right now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, somebody actually got their hands on it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm let me, let me show you guys. Um, let me, let me go to reaction screen. There it is. There it is. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Wait, let me make it big. Wow. That's the switch light, boys. Check that out. That is the switch light. 
I don't know how they got it so early, but that is the switch light, the yellow color, that the yellow color that I really want. That's the color that I I really really want, but I don't know why it's buffering. Yeah, that's that's the color that I really really want. Holy cow. Y'all see that? Oh wait, wait, he put up the wait, he put up the the Walmart store. Oh my lord. Y'all see this? He put up the receipt. I'm trying to see Rock Mount Rock Mart Georgia. So go ahead and call guys. Maybe they still have one in stock. Maybe maybe they might have one in stock. So go go over there, check out what's going on. See if they have one in stock. <laughs> oh my lord. Wait, hold up. There we go. So you see the guy with the the Walmart bag and that's in Georgia. So um yeah, that is insane. That is insane and it's the yellow color the yellow color that's the color that i want with that walmart bag and everything bro wow so that's what i'm saying a lot of people seem like they're 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 getting their hands on the switch light early i don't know if you guys caught the store let me see if you guys want to call that store and see if they have it matter of fact you know what i'll probably call them let me call them i'm gonna call the store real quick how does that sound guys let's see if they got the switch light we're gonna call we're gonna call the store real quick um let me see if i can look at this it, because the video is upside down they normally have the number oh i see the number i see it let me call and see if they got the switch light in you guys are going to be on the phone with me i think that says 8766 yeah i think that says 8766 all right y'all ready for this we're going to call this walmart real quick and see if they got it pablo what's up man What's your favorite color? Green, yellow, black, red, blue. All right, let's call them real quick. Thank you for calling your local Walmart. We appreciate your business and look forward to the opportunity to serve you in our store. For pharmacy, press 1. For electronics, press 2. For pickup, press... Yes, sir. Um, I was calling to see if uh, you guys have the uh, Nintendo Switch Lite in stock. The Nintendo Switch Switch Lite does not drop until the 20th. We cannot sell you anything until then. Oh, okay. Okay, then. All right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> oh, my Lord. He said, nope. Nintendo Switch Lite is, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe that guy knew somebody that works at Walmart. I don't know. But that's the same Walmart that he got it from, and they're saying that they don't have it in stock. Ah, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. This is crazy. <laughs> uh, of course he's going to say he don't have it in stock. Um, is the, is the switch light backlit? Uh, pff, that's a very good question. Um, I hate calling Walmart. They take so much time to answer the phone. Yep. <laughs> I know, right? Exactly. Exactly. Of course. Of course. Um, will we see Sony and Microsoft CEOs at the VG? I mean, they could be there. Sony could be there as well. Uh, he knows some someone there. Of course he knows someone there, man, because that's the same Walmart. that He showed the receipt where he got it from. Unless they're sold out. I don't know. But he was like, no, we don't. But 
why would he i mean if it was sold out then he would have said hey look man it's sold out like we don't have any in stock i never buy electronic stuff from walmart <laughs> yeah man i had man i have stories for days about walmart like oh my oh man next donation for story time i'm gonna let y'all know something that happened to me at walmart and that's why i'm telling you guys uh walmart is not the best place for buying electronics because you have a lot of people that's in the back that do some shady stuff so next donation for story time i'll let y'all know something about a bad experience and it's bad and funny at the same time so yeah um let's see let's see that's the same thing that walmart guy told me <laughs> i'm driving there now me world you driving there now hey update us me world update us and let us know if they have the switch light in stock bro update us let us know if they have the switch light in stock if they have the switch light in stock then hey send us some pictures uh send me a video maybe you can send me a video and i can probably feature it on the channel or talk about it or something we'll we'll, we'll figure something out um you you're in my discord me world so you can send me a video or something like that um, but let me know. I think you said it's eight miles away from your house. Let me know if they got the switch light in stock because a lot of times um, you call the 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 the, um, the entertainment section and you're like, hey, you got so and so in stock or whatnot, da 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 da, and then they're like, no, 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 we don't have it in stock, and then you drive up there and they do be have it, you know. So after Sword Sword and Shield Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remix for Switch. I wouldn't hold my breath on that, but anything is possible at this point. Uh, Marlon, do you think Ninja Gaiden two and three? Yeah, I think it's a possibility. It could be. It could happen. Um, wait, didn't we have the original Ninja Gaiden on the NES? Um, I'm not sure on on the Switch. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, they probably might have the Switch Lite cheaper um, in Black Friday not necessarily because here's the thing with black friday like a lot of nintendo stuff normally stays the same like sony and microsoft normally have like cheap 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 stuff like cheap consoles but for some reason like i don't know nintendo just keeps their stuff in there um send a link to your discord in the live chat actually crow that's a private discord it's only designated for sponsors only yeah so i because the last time i put out my discord publicly man and it was a whole lot of craziness happening and i had to shut it down so um i'm not in georgia though but it's worth the risk hey man i hope you didn't waste your gas but let me know how it turns out let me know how it turns out um let me see here oh my god did you hear that and castlevania game for ios man they're making a lot of stuff for ios now so i mean <laughs> they're making a lot of stuff for ios so there you go um nintendo first party stuff stays full price yeah exactly exactly even when you have insane amount of sales for some reason you know, Nintendo stuff always stay at the same price. Black Friday during Christmas, it's rare. And if it if it is a drop, it's probably like twenty dollars off, which twenty dollars is not really like a whole lot. I mean, that's pretty much like saving taxes on the Switch or saving taxes on a game or something like that. Which no, the, ain't no game um, tax is twenty dollars unless it's like a collector's edition or something like that. Um, okay um yakuza 7 um got announced during um tokyo game show 2019 yeah i see a lot of people are saying that tokyo game show this year is kind of underwhelming but yo that final fantasy 7 remake trailer oh my lord was fire that game looks phenomenal i cannot wait to get my hands on it i think it's gonna be flawless man that game is gonna be amazing when it drops. even though it's gonna be episodic like i'm still hyped for it man uh marlon do you want a ea rep in smash no ea is, is garbage 
EA is horrible. Okay, anybody knows anything that I've been saying, EA is garbage, trash. Okay, so yeah. Um, Goku is coming. Nah, Goku ain't coming, man. Sakurai, the main man himself, said, nope, not going to happen. Iron Man, nope, Iron Man is not going to happen either. So, I mean, not going to happen, guys. So, everybody can just give that up. Give, give that up. Give that up. It's not going to happen. Um, Nintendo games never go on sale because most of most of the time they still be selling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they speak for themselves. Nintendo games are always polished, um, high quality. You know, even the Switch, like the Switch, like is still selling for 300 bucks right now. And this came out two years ago. Like the PlayStation 4 dropped, you know what I mean? Dropping price, I think like 50 or or $100 off. Um, I think after a year after it came out, if I'm not mistaken, but the Switch is still 300 bucks. I mean, the Switch Lite is going to be $200, which is really cheap. A lot of people are saying that the Switch Lite could have been um, $150, which I think at $150, Nintendo would probably sell a lot more, like a lot more people, because you got to remember, $200 is a lot of money for some people. Like the average person with a a nine to five job, like relatively speaking in America, is probably not making $10 an hour. So you're talking about $200, unless you are saving your money, then it's gonna be pretty tough for you to actually come up with that kind of money. So I think 150 would have been a very good price uh, for them to actually sell the Switch Lite. I think that would be like the sweet spot price uh, for them to do that, so yeah. Um, la um, since last stream as Etika have yourself, oh man, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, Mathis. Um, EA sucks. I'm not a huge fan of EA. Look, man, EA is a company that sit there and blame switch owners, blame switch gamers for them lacking to put like quality games on the Nintendo switch because all the games that EA has been putting down is like stripped down games, you know? So. Uh, did you get the new switch? No, I haven't even gotten a new switch yet. Honestly, I want to get the switch light. That's where I'm at right now. I want to get the switch light. Um, but I, I, I'm keeping my OG switch uh, for various different reasons because I mean, you know, this was donated by a fan actually. Like the money was donated by one of uh, DFG. DFG donated the money. I'll never forget it for me to get this switch. So. This means a lot to me that a subscriber actually donated money for me to get this. So I'm never giving this up. Um, and it still runs good. It's just my left Joy-Con is not working properly. So, um, hey Marlon, which side do you side on in Smash Ballot Region USA, Japan, or Europe? I would have to go with USA, man. I would have to go with Europe is better than Japan in my opinion, but... I'm gonna have to go with US of A, man. Um, a lot of people are saying that Square Enix is westernizing Final Fantasy VII Remake because of it's not turn-based anymore and it's episodic. I mean, people are, people just complain, bro. Like seriously, like they just complain for no reason. Like why is people complaining? I don't, I don't, I don't get it anymore. I honestly don't get it. But that's people for you. Um, I think the Switch Lite is probably going to be too big for your pockets. I mean, I was because the Switch is portable in a sense, but it's portable like you can put it in your backpack or put it in a pouch and kind of go with it. But it's not like really, really portable. Like, like for instance, this phone right here, like this XR right here, where this is portable, you can just drop it in your pocket and go. But um, Switch is portable as far as you can take it anywhere. It's super light but it's too big for your um for your, your any pockets any jeans pocket or anything like that so it's going to be tough for you to fit it in your pocket and i think the switch light um is too big too as well oh you have you, you know what I, I need to reach back out to that company there was a company that hit me up that wanted to do a collaboration um with the joy cons and some other stuff 
I need to reach back out to them and kind of see and kind of go from there. Um, have you been to Japan? I would recommend. No, I haven't been to Japan at all. I would love to go to Japan. I would love to go to Nintendo's headquarters one day. I think it would just be amazing, you know, uh, to, to do that. Uh, Monster Hunter Switch announcement at the VGA uh, 2019. I think it's possible because I we heard we hearing rumors that um it's supposed to be a new one coming out. So I think it's possible at this point. Um, I think the Switch is better as just a home console. No, I think it's better as both to be honest. Because I mean, Nintendo kind of had to step outside the box after the failure of the Wii U. They had to kind of step out the box and give us something a bit different, you know. So. Um, I want Sora and Smash. I would um, even leave my main for him. Oh, uh, bro, like Sora would be amazing for Smash. Move set, everything, Final Smash, everything would be perfect. Honestly, y'all, y'all don't know what y'all missing out on. Y'all don't know what y'all missing out on. Like real talk, it would be amazing. How much are the Nintendo Switch backpack? Um. I think there's like 30 or 40 bucks for them, if I'm not mistaken. Um, $200 for the Switch Lite isn't bad if you have one child. If you have two children, then get ready for sibling fights. Exactly, exactly. How many of you guys get in the Switch Lite? I, I, I know I can't get it at day one. I can't get it day one. Uh, but I mean, I would love to get it day one. And the only way I'll get it day one is if somebody donated $200 for me to get it. That's the only way I'll be able to get it day one. That's the only way. And then I remember this was like a long time ago. This was like, I would say like two, three years back. Um, we all had, we'll have like fans donated money, like large sum, like $200 or $300. Hey Marlon, I need you to get you a 3DS or Hey Marlon, I need you to get a capture card. Or hey Marlon, I need you to get this. But this this wasn't the biggest donation that we received. I think the biggest donation that we ever received was two thousand dollars, and it was for a game machine. Um, and so yeah, I mean, and then and then this one afterwards for me to get the Switch Lite. I think the guy is not in here right now, but yeah, y'all seen him the last stream. Um, DFG, he's the one that uh, actually donated and stuff. So. It just be pretty lit stuff, man. Um, they sell the portable routers <clears throat> on Amazon to take it with you. Um, that's why I'm planning on ordering it. Oh, okay. I didn't even know they had that Future X. I didn't even know they had that. Um, Sunrose112 says that fitness RPG game Nintendo is making looks like looks kind of interesting since i really don't go to the gym yeah yeah that's what i'm saying is for people who want to get up off the couch want to exercise you know want to live a healthy life a healthier life and i have to give nintendo that because that was one of the huge selling points uh for the wii right i mean you know you had the motion controls and everything but you also had um the whole fitness we fit and all of that extra stuff to go with it um hey marlon angel don't don't be sorry man um we, we were talking about a lot of stuff bro a lot of stuff you miss out on a lot of stuff yes indeed you miss out on a lot of stuff man um let's see here i might get it but not i'm not sure I just got the V2 switch so I won't get it. Okay, Pablo, I understand that. No switch light for me. I won't get a switch light since I play both TV and portable. I understand that. I'm going to have to wait for my birthday. Okay. Uh maybe a couple years. Okay. Uh let's see here. Um five four fighter passes for Smash Ultimate. Which video game company deserve to um, I think Sony deserves a rep. I think Sony deserves a rep, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, okay, eventually I will buy a new TV for Switch after I get a job here in Brazil. Dang, you're in Brazil, bro? Golly, man. Wow, I can just imagine how life is over there, man. We got people watching from Brazil all over the world. Shout outs, man. Shout outs. Appreciate the support. Um, 
the the new switch accessory it looks kind of like a belt exactly it's weird this round circular thing like it's it's crazy g2g uh built says marlon which date will be the uh game video game awards uh it's gonna be december 12th jeff Keeley already announced it and reggie is supposed to be there the reginator is supposed to be there as well so that's gonna be hype um, hey Marlon, I think Challenger Pack 5 is Shantae. The first additional DLC fighter, I think, will be Gino. Man, you know, Shantae, a lot of people want Shantae in the game, but we don't know, man. We don't know. The only thing I've been hearing is Ry Ryu Hayabusa is going to be in the game. Can you please tell me what I missed because I want to get on. I feel lost. Oh man, we talked we talked about a lot of things, man. We talked about Switch Lite Street Date Broken by Walmart. We talked about Razer Switch Clone Tablet. We talked about Smash Ultimate DLC Future and also Capcom with their arcade games and whatnot. And for a lot of people that are new to the streams or the old subscribers or your new subscriber, we also do a session of the stream where people donate and I talk about story time like stuff about my personal life that is like really funny and things like that so we have different segments of the live stream as well so if you guys want to donate for a story time you can do that i'll uh, give you a shout out and then i'll go right off into the story and whatnot so real funny stuff just to kind of get everybody up to speed and of course our top donator for today i just want to give a shout out again to shadow demon uh 2012 and yoshi the killer thank you guys so much switch gang y'all holding us down let's go um, Olaf for, <laughs> um, Rash as an electronic art, um, rep for Smash. I don't think so, man. Nathan Drake or Drake, Nathan, oh, wait, Nathan Drake. Wait, wait, wait. Master Chief as well. I think Master Chief could be good as well. Um, let me see here. Hopefully we're not missing out on anything. Idaho is beautiful with all the mountains. Idaho is where you live. What? I would love to come to Idaho one day. I don't know, maybe do a fan meetup. I don't know how many fans I have in Idaho, but I think it would be dope. Um, well, we'll see the reveal of a foldable Joy-Con in the future. Exactly. That's what I'm hearing. Fly from the inside from a month ago. Hello, Marlon. God's creation. How you doing, bro? Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining us today. I uh, really appreciate the support um so yeah all right let's keep going frozen gamer what's up man how you doing bro welcome to the stream thank you so much for joining um do you ever watch metal jesus rocks videos if you're familiar he collects a lot of games i heard of metal jesus rock mm -hmm. tez o nation what is good bro thank you so much for joining uh four fighter pass for smash ultimate you crazy boy you crazy 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 um what is good bro what is good 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 um all right you guys ready for story time anybody want story time let me know the floor is open for any random questions um if you guys want us to do story time let me know um let me know let me know alexander tell um tell us if i'm saying your name correctly how you doing um, so can you stream smash now? Um, yes, yes, I can stream smash. I told, I told you guys yesterday that I might do it, um, tomorrow. Cause I always like doing smash on Saturdays. A lot of people are off work and things like that. So we can try to do that tomorrow. Um, oh, oh, y'all ready for the, y'all. <laughs> Y'all ready for that for that um that Walmart story, huh? All right, all right, all right. That's cool. Marlon, do you trust your sources? Yeah, I trust them. I mean, they've they've been right in the past about a lot of things, so Um, but yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Story time. Let's go. Let's go. Are you a Christian, Marlon? Yes. Uh 100 character uh smash roster how much y'all want to bet i think it's gonna happen i think it's gonna happen 
um at marlin um hey uh what's his name me too world let us know when you get to walmart man to check to see if that that switch light is there um keep us up to date with that um game freak is planning to do a uh, uh and let's go what ah oh, wow that'll be insane story time boys <laughs> um my only problem with the switch is that nintendo made it multiplayer focus and online was a huge afterthought um also i hate how everything uh everything said that the wii u features weren't useless and how and and now what yeah i mean the online is gonna be all right trust me i think they're gonna get the online down soon um what if terry gets a female terry echo fighter because yeah i mean i can kind of see that happening so yeah walmart story yes I, i'm ready i'm ready for the walmart story y'all drop y'all drop the donation on your boy and we'll 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 dive right off into the walmart story remember the bigger the donation the longer i can go because it takes time away from the chat and all the people talking so uh y'all ready for the walmart story y'all know what to do let's go um and trust me it's funny as heck it's funny it's funny and sad at the same time um okay eight fighter eight fighter passes for smash ultimate nah bruh not gonna happen um ghostman says uh marlon i'm a christian too god bless you brother yeah word up man thank you uh so much um i'm a christian man i'm a firm believer in jesus christ and i put him first and i suggest everybody do the same and that's one of the main reasons why i keep every oops i hit my hand hit the my hand hit the, the microphone sorry for that <laughs> that feedback uh, that's one of the main reasons why you know i keep my content clean for everybody so MRJ says, I have Marlon Gaming Nation. Sup, bro? Finally catching you live. That's a hey, that's why I kind of extend everything out so people can catch me. Um, Steel Series released a wireless headset for Switch. Oh, really now? Is it good? Mathis says, Story time, please. Everybody wants story time, man. You know what's so funny? We started up story time two streams ago and it's been very successful. And we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. Trust me um check them out marlon okay check out what again frozen gamer remind me again uh devil may cry one two and three now for switch about time um eight fighter passes would be like 150 characters exactly that would be ridiculous um that would be the ridiculous you know what's so funny this was uh this was the last stream somebody said they were gonna donate 200 dollars, and i'm like bro you donated two hundred dollars for me to talk about story time. That's like enough to buy a Switch Lite. Like I could just uh, get that when I get paid, and I can just go and get me a Switch Lite, like just like that. Um, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get one at launch. But like I said, anything can happen. Somebody can donate something, and we end up getting a Switch Lite. So that's the only way I'll be able to get get it at launch. Oh, DFG in the house that is the dude right there dfg he's the one that got me this nintendo switch he's the one that got me uh my laptop my gaming laptop that i that that i got uh when my main computer crashed so yeah that's the dude right there dfg the guy that i was talking about he was the one that dropped the big donations so shout outs to dfg man um guys donate five thousand dollars just kidding yeah right <laughs> five thousand dollars i'll go insane somebody donate five thousand dollars good lord i i, I wouldn't even I, I i don't even know how to process that that would just be insane um dfg is in the house what is good bro i'll bet when the second fighter pass comes out it will make um to 110 fighters bro that that would be insane that would be a, like a world record of of how many people I'm currently on the train and it will take 20 to 30 minutes to the parking lot where my car is. Hopefully, we'll get there before the stream ends. Okay. Yeah, I, I hope so. I hope so. You know, you can kind of, you know, feed us some information on what's going on there. Um, 
boy DFG man shout outs to DFG special shout outs to DFG um Marlon I'm a Christian too G2G bills actually means glory to God what I did not know that holy cow wow that is amazing god bless you too bro god bless god bless man appreciate the support what wow that is amazing that is amazing yes sir um that boy dfg in the house i was um saying devil may cry three later okay uh we need cloud save on splatoon 2 i don't even think that's gonna happen if we if people are already putting out a petition for Animal Crossing to have cloud save, which that's supposed to be something that's already added there, like I'm not understanding. Um, I was saying devil. Okay, no, I already read that already. Um, anything else? Y'all ready for story time? Let me know. Let me know, guys. Let me know. Uh, let me see. I think my switch is dead. Is it dead? No, I think I got I got sixty um uh, fifty something percent. Y'all y'all stay tuned for tomorrow though. Um, how long does it take a uh, YouTube uh, paycheck to come to the house? Well, relatively speaking, YouTube pays weird, so it's like every fifteenth um, of the month. Um, or sometimes it could be the 10th of the month. It just all depends. Um, six fighter passes for Smash Ultimate. Um, glory to God. Love in Christ. Most definitely. 10 fighter passes. Yeah, that, that would be just ridiculous. Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. Anything else for me, guys? Anything else you want to? drop on you boy anything else let's see anything else um let me see what's going on here hmm wait nothing nothing is um nothing is uh oh the wife just texted me that dinner is ready Oh yeah, baby. I'm coming. Dinner is ready. Y'all want a story time before your boy goes? Let me know. Let me know if you need a story time. All right, let's see here. Um Ultimate, what's up man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um Mm -mm -mm -mm. I feel Nintendo should just add cloud saves. People are hacking the Switch already. Uh, might as well just put a anti-cheating measure like some games do. Okay. I'm going to have... Um, let's see there. Let's see there. Uh, I tell the wife I'll be down there in the next 10 minutes. I'm going to give you guys... Okay, all right. Anything else, guys? Let's see. What character do you mostly want in Smash? I want Crash. I really want Crash, but I, I have to go with my main, my main man, Ryu Hayabusa. My main man, Ryu Hayabusa. Are you getting Pokemon Sword and Shield on launch? Yes. Yes. Um, I... I'm oh wait, wait wait my Elgato game capture card doesn't respond to my Windows 8.1. Any suggestions? Um, try look for the latest driver for um for your Elgato and kind of go from there. Otherwise, it could just be something within your driver with uh, Windows 8.1. Um, or you should they should have gave you um a free upgrade to Windows 10. Windows 10 seems to work flawlessly for me because that's what i'm using right now hey marlon get up hey marlon please give us a story <laughs> where do we donate we want to donate the other day okay so you can do super chat right here where it shows um show your support to marlon giving Nation. you see that um that money symbol or you can click down in the description of the video it should show you my stream lab 
yeah support the stream stream lab um forward slash games on wario um you guys can donate right there it's in the description of the of the stream all right guys Okay, let's see. Let's see. Read. Okay, entire thing because it's. <laughs> Y'all are funny, man. Y'all are funny. Marlon, how many people do you think will be confused about Ryu Hayabusa's reveal? I don't think nobody's going to be um, confused. I think people are just going to just, you know, be like, be like, what? Like, kind of like that kind of reaction. Um,. If Nintendo put GameCube games, I think it could include Smash Brawl. Yeah, I think so too. All right, guys, five more minutes. Five more minutes. We can do anything in five more minutes. If you guys have any questions, anything like that, you could drop it on me. Um, the anti-cheat measures just ends up messing up. Okay. All right, guys. Um. Your boy has to go eat. So. Okay. Anything else before we go? <laughs> Y'all keep spamming with this stuff. Um, all right, guys. So love you guys so much. I'll catch y'all in the next stream uh, and stay tuned. Love you guys. Peace. Story time will continue next stream. We're out of here. Peace.